As we look ahead, there's a growing buzz among weather forecasters. Could the winter of 2025 to 2026 be the coldest and snowiest in over a decade? Meteorologists across the country are watching the data closely, and the excitement is building. The possibility of a truly historic winter is on the table, and it's not just idle speculation. There's a sense of anticipation in the air, as experts compare notes and analyze the latest trends, wondering if we're on the verge of something extraordinary. Early signs point to a season that could rival the memorable winter of 2013 to 2014, especially for the central and eastern U.S. That winter brought relentless snowstorms, record-breaking cold and weeks of challenging conditions for millions. Now, some of the same atmospheric ingredients are coming together again, raising the stakes for what could be a winter to remember. This isn't guesswork, it's based on powerful signals in our oceans and atmosphere. Scientists are tracking these signals using advanced technology, from satellites to ocean buoys, and the patterns they're seeing are hard to ignore. We're seeing a unique combination, a particular state in the Pacific Ocean, where water temperatures and currents are shifting in ways that often precede major weather events. At the same time, a developing area of warm water elsewhere is adding fuel to the fire creating the potential for dramatic changes in the jet stream and storm tracks. And then there are the conditions near Greenland, icy, turbulent and capable of steering cold air masses toward North America. All these factors together suggest a major shift in our weather pattern is on the horizon. These large-scale features have a history of delivering impactful winter weather, sometimes catching even seasoned forecasters by surprise. When they align just right, the results can be both beautiful and disruptive. This year, they're lining up in a way that has forecasters paying close attention, running simulations, and double-checking their predictions as new data comes in. Over the next few sections, we'll break down these signals, explain what they mean, and show you how they could shape the months ahead. We'll look at what the models are telling us, how reliable these forecasts are, and what surprises might still be in store. Most importantly, we'll discuss what you can expect in your region, whether you're bracing for blizzards, preparing for icy roads, or just hoping for a few snow days. So, let's dive in and take your first in-depth look at the winter of 2025 to 2026, a season that could truly make history. Forecasting months ahead is like detective work. We piece together clues from the world's oceans, especially sea surface temperatures. These temperatures act as engines, influencing the jet stream and steering weather patterns for months. Events like El Nino and La Nina in the Pacific are especially powerful, shaping North American winters. We feed this data into supercomputers, like the American CFS and Canadian CANSIPS models, which simulate the planet's climate and project future patterns. These models are better at predicting broad temperature trends than pinpointing local snowfall, so we compare multiple models for confidence. When different models agree, like pointing to a cold, snowy winter in the east, our confidence grows. It's this blend of ocean observation and model interpretation that forms the backbone of modern seasonal forecasting. Let's see what those clues are telling us for this winter. As we head into the heart of winter, Understanding what's driving this season's weather is more important than ever. This year's forecast hinges on three major players, each with the power to shape our winter in unique ways, and together, they set the stage for what could be a dramatic season across much of the country. First up is the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. Right now, we're seeing a weak La Nina developing in the Pacific, but forecasts suggest it will transition to a neutral phase by the time winter is in full swing. This shift is subtle but significant, as it changes the way the atmosphere and ocean interact, influencing storm tracks and temperature patterns across North America. Historically, neutral ENSO winters have a reputation for bringing colder temperatures and above-average snowfall, especially to the central and eastern United States. These winters often feature more frequent cold snaps and the potential for major snow events, making them memorable for millions. The second major factor is a vast patch of unusually warm water in the North Pacific, often called the warm blob. This anomaly isn't just a curiosity, it actively shapes the atmosphere above it, encouraging a persistent high-pressure ridge to form over the western US and Canada. This ridge acts like a barrier, forcing the jet stream to buckle and dip southward. As a result, cold Arctic air is funneled down into the US, setting the stage for sharp temperature drops and the potential for intense winter storms, especially east of the Rockies. The third key player is Greenland blocking. When high pressure sets up over Greenland, it acts like a wall, 
trapping frigid Arctic air and steering it toward North America. This pattern can persist for weeks, leading to prolonged cold spells and increasing the risk of severe winter weather outbreaks. Recent computer model runs suggest that this blocking pattern could lock in some of the coldest air of the season, particularly during January. If this setup holds, we could see extended periods of deep freeze and significant snow accumulation, especially in the Northeast and Midwest. When you combine a neutral ENSO, the North Pacific Warm Anomaly, and Greenland blocking, you get a powerful recipe for a cold, snowy winter, especially in the eastern half of the country. Each factor amplifies the others, increasing the likelihood of an active and impactful season. This trifecta of climate drivers gives us high confidence that this winter will be anything but ordinary. Expect frequent storms, dramatic temperature swings, and plenty of opportunities for memorable winter weather. As we track these patterns month by month, we'll see how each one plays its part. Stay tuned as we break down what to expect as the season unfolds. The CFS model story starts with a warm September in the east while the west cools early. October brings a dramatic shift. A jet stream dip delivers the first real chill to the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley and Northeast while the west stays warm. November offers a brief mild spell but hints of underlying cold remain in the Northeast. December surprises with warmth in the east and cold in the west, a temporary flip. But January is the main event. The western ridge strengthens, unleashing Arctic air deep into the central and eastern states. This could mean severe possibly historic cold, especially in January. February continues the chill, though slightly less intense. March sees the cold retreat but late season snow remains possible in the northeast and Great Lakes. The key, a back-loaded winter with the harshest weather in January and February. Zooming out, the CFS model shows a nation divided, a warm, dry west and a cold, stormy east. The west's persistent ridge means fewer cold snaps and less mountain snowpack. The central and eastern states face a winter of persistent chill, especially over the Great Lakes Ohio Valley and northeast. The jet stream will repeatedly deliver Arctic air, not just brief cold snaps. Precipitation forecasts are trickier, but the model suggests a wetter-than-average west coast and active storm track along the east coast. The setup is classic for nor'easters and above-average snowfall from D.C. to Boston. The combination of cold air and frequent storms could make this a standout winter for snow in the east. Let's see if the Canadian model agrees. The Canadian CANSIPS model largely agrees with the CFS, October brings early cold to the east, and a strong western ridge dominates. November stays warm in the west with the potential for cold in the east. For winter, CANSIP shows cooler than normal temperatures in the north-central and northeastern U.S., but keeps the southern tier warmer. This suggests the deepest cold may focus on the northern half of the country. For precipitation, CANSIPS predicts a drier west and southeast with a more active storm track across the northern states. Both models agree a warm west, a cold east, and an active northern storm track. The details may differ, but the big picture is clear. Let's break down what this winter's forecast means for your area, and how it could impact your daily life, travel plans and even your energy bills. Across the west, stretching from the majestic Rockies all the way to the Pacific coast, expect a season that's warmer and drier than usual. Lower elevations will see less snow, and even the mountains may have below average snowfall. This could mean a shorter ski season and growing concerns about water shortages, especially in places already prone to drought. Reservoirs and rivers may run lower, so communities and farmers will need to keep a close eye on water supplies. Meanwhile, the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic and Northeast are in for a much colder ride. January in particular looks to bring some of the harshest cold snaps, with temperatures plunging well below normal. Residents should prepare for higher heating costs, icy commutes, and the kind of deep freezes that can disrupt daily routines and even cause school closures. These same regions are also set for above-average snowfall. Frequent snowstorms could blanket cities and rural areas alike, and there's a real chance for powerful nor'easters to develop. Bringing blizzard conditions, travel delays, and the need for extra shoveling and snow plows. The Carolinas and Virginia are wildcards this year. If the right mix of cold air and moisture arrives, these areas could see significant winter storms with snow and ice disrupting roads and daily life, so keep an eye on the forecast. For the southern plains and Gulf Coast, a generally milder winter is expected, 
but don't let your guard down. Sudden arctic blasts can still sweep through, bringing brief but intense cold snaps that catch many off guard. The southeast will be active and wet, with a mix of rain, sleet and even snow possible depending on how storms track. Flooding and icy conditions could make travel tricky at times. The Midwest and Northeast should brace for a classic, snowy winter, with frequent snowfalls and the kind of winter weather that defines the season. So, while the West enjoys a milder, drier season, the East is gearing up for a true test of winter's strength. Make sure you're ready, wherever you live. The most dramatic feature of this winter is the flip from a mild December to a frigid January. Early winter may lull people into thinking it'll be easy, but the models show a rapid shift as the Western Ridge and Greenland block lock in. January brings a major Arctic outbreak, with some of the coldest temperatures in a decade for the central and eastern US. February keeps the cold entrenched, with a prolonged period of below average temperatures. This persistence is what makes a winter memorable. Weeks of relentless cold test our infrastructure and patience. March brings gradual relief, but late season snow is still possible in the Northeast and Great Lakes. The key takeaway, a backloaded winter with the harshest weather in January and February. Prepare for a season that starts mild but ends with a bang. Bottom line, winter 2025 to 2026 looks colder and snowier than average for much of the central and eastern US, possibly the most significant in a decade. The west stays milder, but the east faces a classic high-impact winter. This isn't just trivia, it affects heating costs, travel, and community preparedness. Families should plan for higher bills and get winter gear ready now. Cities need to prepare salt, snow plows, and emergency plans. The energy sector, retailers, and travel industry all rely on these forecasts to make smart decisions. Weather connects us all. Preparation and community matter most. Stay informed, get ready, and we'll track every storm with you all winter long.